Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Snapper software to generate microstructure. Uh, Snapper is a piece of software that's created to um, generate um, polycrystal meshes or different um, for different purposes, different microstructures. Um, uh, you could download the software, it's a free software, it's a Linux uh, software and it's written by Roman Quay. Um, and it's a I think it's a really really um, nice software um, one of the big advantages is that you could use tetrahedral elements with this um, uh, software uh, it has to I'm going to use only three modules um, and I will use just simple functions to create the the, the RVE um, representative volume element so it has a tessellation module um, which is to create the grains and it, it, it has a meshing module to mesh those grains and also visualization module to visualize um, the tessellations and bulk meshes so um, so I'm going on back to my back to our website um, uh, so in 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 this crystal plasticity um, tab, we have a Nepper Abacus generator. And in the first step, we create the microstructure. So in this folder, there's a there's an example script files that I use to generate RVE using Nepper. So uh, I will use these functions. Um, uh, but these are just one. Uh, I mean, one way to, of doing it. So you could use. Um, uh, any other way to create the microstructures. So uh, what I'm going to do is just create a folder and then open up a terminal and uh, basically shift these functions. Um, here uh, NEPR stands for the software and T is the tessellation module and is the number of grains. There's a morph of, uh, function um, um, uh, which says which is about the statistics of that um, uh, grain structure. Um, it, the software has a really good uh, documentation, so you could find everything here. Um, so you could have um, a grain distribution, a grain size distribution, log normal distribution. You could have a morphological texture, so you could put all of these things in here. Um, and uh, the rest is like orientations are random and the orientation descriptions are boong angles. So what I'm going to change is just change the name of the file. I'm just going to put test as the name of the file. And I will erase this morpho function because it takes a little while to do that. Okay, so once I do that, it created this test file, which is a tessellation file, which are the seeds of the um, crystal, um, the center point of these grains. Um, and then the next step is to um, create, I mean, we can visualize it. Um, let's try to see that. Um, so I'm going to copy the next line, paste it here. Um, well, our file name is different now. It's just test. And here we have this tessellations created and to create the mesh we use the M module so I'm going to copy the next line and um, here there are a couple of things um, we could create a hexahedral element we can specify the element type and the order um, uh, uh, the, the, we can specify the relative um, length uh, that, that's kind of the mesh refinement level we can think about it and um, let's first generate this uh, as a hexahedral element okay it did it, did it. and then I'm going to visualize the mesh. Uh, uh, 
Okay, and this is Abacus X, and... There, so these are, these are like the um, hexahedral mesh. So if, if you want to, let's try to refine this mesh. Um, so if we, if we create this RCL, is let's say 0.5. I create that mesh again, and then um, use another image. And then it created this third one. So see that now the mesh is refined. Um, the other um, thing we can try is just to create a tetrahedral, which is a great really strength of this software. Um, you could create tetrahedral elements. Um, so let's do that. Uh, so I'm gonna refine this to. 0.8 maybe, and it will take a while to, to run it. Um, so um, the the help file, as I said, it's quite strong. It's there are examples um, on how to create the tessellations. So here you can find many different ways of doing it. So check this out. Um, so like I said, I'm just doing it as an example. Um, the a, a like a using very simple case. Um, yeah, it takes a little while to run. You could also use different number of CPUs. I in this computer I don't have many CPUs, so you could increase the speed by using um, setting your um, CPUs number of CPUs. Okay, so it's done, and then I'll try to create the visualization file, um, which is in this case, let's call this image 4, and the mesh file is tet. Okay, and there we go. Um, there it is, the tet files. Um, so there are the element, uh, different element ratio, size ratio is quite maybe quite different, but you could adjust it using the morpho function um, but it takes a little long so that's why I didn't run it um, so that's all um, I hope you enjoy it and um, thank you